Yo, what's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to be going over um one of the most important fundamentals of Rahala, which is like pressure. So, pressure is really important because you can you can get um so much momentum off of it and just build so much damage really easily, just off of a, a bad habit of scaring people. So, just to start off, the um like the 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 thing that makes pressure what it is is sequencing. So. Let's say you always approach with guitar style like this or guitar dare, right? In order to pressure somebody, you either need to walk up towards them like this, if this is enough to pressure them, right? Or just like float around them. Or what you could do is you could just copy a sequence. So like if you're um always approaching with, with guitar style like this, you can um act like you're about to do it, but then you stop. So a player, they will see you walking up like this and assume it's the same thing as you doing this because it has the same exact startup. It's the same as that thing you're dashing towards them. They're like, okay, he's about to sidelight, but then you don't. So he dodges, and you punish his dodge. So, um, and some people have different reactions. Some people will jump, some people um, back away from you, some people try to cross you up. Like, you'll walk up and they'll like jump dodge in, or they'll just try to go behind you. You can walk up and do reverse guitar sidelight. You can walk up and jump and do NSIG. A lot of things you can do. Or, or they can back up and you have to overshoot. So, if they back up, you have to go really deep. You have to go, you have to overshoot it to read them. And the thing about um, pressure is that it's not always gonna work. Like it's not always gonna work the same way. The runs are gonna catch on to the fact that you're always approaching with delayed side lights and stuff like that. So you have to mix it up. Maybe you have to approach airily. Maybe you have to um, start back dodging like this when you um, when you approach them. Like all types of things that you can do. You can start doing dare, or maybe you can actually just start punishing. Or, or like just attacking them, just straight up attacking them as a mix up. Instead of like doing a delayed side, you can just straight up hit them. All types of things you can do right there to mix up how you approach people and how you pressure people um to play how you want them to. So yeah, and on, on top of that you need to learn why people panic the way that they do so you can um you can even you can get more um like this knowledge on the player off of just like really specific things like if someone likes to cross up then they usually like to dodge into the stage when you them far away which i already explained in my um my stage control video which means like they like the stage right so and off the fact that they like the stage you can tell like they'll dodge in they might have like grounded recoveries they might dodge down off of moves because they like to they, they like to be on the ground more stuff like that you can tell a lot of things off of um someone just crossing you up so yeah, like you got all types of like character traits and, and stuff like that. You can you can just kind of see what kind of player they are just from a lot of like really basic things. Like if they float, when you walk up towards them, then they're probably just like um floaty. They probably recover really high. They they still might dodge into the stage because a lot of people just get caught off guard by that. But they're usually just gonna be more aerial and stuff like that. So yeah, you, you can just like get more intellect about. Um, like how people play just based on a lot of things by pressuring people or like let's say some you, um, you pressure and they like the GC like you walk up to them they do a sword GC D light because they're scared of you then you punish it and then you can kind of tell that they're aggressive right so when you hit them away they'll probably dash back into you since they like to counter attack a lot the movie do like wake up side of combos because they just like to counter attack since that was their first instinct to hit you when they got scared so you can tell a lot of things off of that just by approaching them a few times and just seeing what they do so like this video is not really it's not really gonna be that long so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna play some experimental and I'm gonna see what people do when I approach them guitars because guitars in my opinion are really clean for uh, this kind of thing because the damage build up all right we got we got this guy named gray road so we're gonna see what he does when I approach him. And we're gonna try to take advantage of it with guitars. Or whatever weapon I get, I guess. I already got guitars, so let's see how many people are He likes to cross those, I guess. And he likes to attack, so he's aggressive, so. I don't really, I, I don't think I should approach him horizontally. Just based on the fact that he doesn't really have a good anti here, or yeah, that too. And like, he has a lot of priority on the ground. So you can approach him, and then he like, tries to hit me. You see? You see, he's trying to hit me as soon as I walk up to him. 
He needs to dab him. He's going for dares now. Yeah, cross up. He's not dodging that much either. Yeah, so you can tell a lot of things off of that. You see, it's like to attack all the time. And also, I punished that spot dodge there. And I explained um, a little bit about that in my uh, my guide on how to stealth improve. Yeah, he's just missing a bunch of random attacks. But you can see that when I approach him, he likes to either cross up or he'll try to hit me. So, like I said, um, the, the punish people that like to hit you, then you should probably play like a little bit more floaty depending on what they're trying to hit you with. If I approach him, he just tries to hit me as soon as I walk up to him. Which is just easy damage to rack up. See, so he missed the end light. He tried to recover. Boom. I'm just like putting pressure on him. I'm making him miss moves. Boom. Oh, so yeah. Another thing is, um... Actually, I'll, I'll explain that uh, after this game in training. It's about punishing people. It's more about a neutral and punish game, but this goes well into pressure. Because the only reason why it works is because people are scared of you. So let me see. Let's go. Try to punish him. See, he's just trying to hit me over and over and over. And that's where dance, like that's where dash is kind of useful. He has a lot of priority on the ground, like that. I approached him, I backed up, and then he did dare. I punished him. So dash I think is pretty useful. If you know what you're doing with it. I'm going to go back into training and explain something right now. Alright, so... Another thing um, that goes into like the sequence category is when people miss a move, right? So let's say like you pressure somebody and then they miss a attack, but the attack is unpunishable. Like they miss bow and light and you're not really in a good position to hit them. What you can do is you fast fall then jump because they'll think that you're going to try to punish them for that bow and light. And it makes it more obvious rather than if you're just sitting here, they might be able to just know. So you have to make it like look as realistic as possible. It's like it's just like faking. It's just doing a fake out. Like it's like go down and then you jump when you're about to when you like know that the move's not punishable, but they they might think they're gonna try to go for the punish. So like they miss a move that you feel like you can't punish, and you know you can't punish it. You go for the fast fall and the jump, and then they they get scared. They do a jump or like a dodge or some other attack, right? And then. You punish them for doing that. That goes into the sequence category. But just, just because you're like acting as if you're gonna go for like a guitar dare or some other kind of punish. So that's really important to know for when you're um punishing people. Like this game is like all pressure. Like get to uh, force them into missing something, and then after that, you might have to force them into missing again, depending on what kind of weapon that they have. But fast following, and you can do some at the start too. Like this in neutral, you can just. Um, just like pressure them and stay around them. Another useful thing for pressuring is back dodging. It makes you more reactive, so it is punishable against like weapons like spear. N uh, not too much against moves that don't punish you in the air that well, like hammer, you could say. So, like back dodging is really useful for when you're trying to pressure them and stay around them without trying to get without getting hit by them. So when they do go for attack, you can react and just back dodge into a counter attack. Like this, it works really well in sword and hammer. You can back dodge and decide her really easily. And this is like really important. Not even not even for um for your pressure, but just for spacing in general. Like if they're too close, you can back dodge and decide her. Just to space yourself. A lot of blaster players do this, but you can do this for any kind of weapon. If you're like too close and you want to go for a specific move. See so, yeah, um, th that's like most of my tips for pressuring. Uh, I hope this helped you. If it did, uh, share the video. 
uh, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and peace.